we, we just got the cue, so we're going to take that as we are live. Uh, good evening, everybody. JT coming to you uh, live tonight on location. We are down here at Eatable, down here on Main Street in Mooresville. I am here with the, as you like to be called now, the sole proprietor of Eatable. And I appreciate JT. <laughs> we're here with yep, I appreciate his time over here. Absolutely, absolutely. So glad to be here. And I'll tell you what, anybody that hasn't been down here yet, it's only been how many days? Uh, 11 days. 11 days. Okay, how many hours? I don't know. <laughs> we're, we're counting literally as we speak here. You can tell it's going to be one of these kind of interviews, which is a great thing. I, I'll tell you what, Tommy, thank you. And, and seeing this place, it, it's something people have to come down and really check out. I mean, can you tell everybody a little bit about what the inspiration was behind you all and, and what you got going on? Well, first of all, I'd like to thank, you know, more of the community, how grateful they are, and Huntersville also. And you can see, you know, I'm not used to the camera here, <laughs> so I'm like back and forth. So you have to forgive me, guys, okay? But I love you guys. Um, you know, the inspiration is because all the customers has been very, very, you know, um, what's that word? You call me on board. That's you know? okay. I, I, I'll, um, I'll help you out a little bit with this, because right behind the scenes right now, there's actually a, a younger couple that's over here, and I got to say this. Um, before you even stepped over here, I was chatting a little bit with them, and Tommy's got some crazy dishes, and I'll tell you what, and I say crazy in a very, a very honest and, and saying that you've got to try this stuff. Crazy in a great way. Um, the couple that's over here, I'll tell you, they said, hey, the, the go-to dish, we've been here three times in 11 days. Uh, tonight, they are doing what? What's the name of that dish? The Chunky Fried Rice with Spam, Bacon, and Chicken. Okay. You heard correctly. That would spam bacon and chicken. Uh, all right, and I've seen this thing. It looks wonderful. I have to say, I never thought I would be reaching out and say I've got to try a spam dish, but Tommy's got it rolling right now. Um, tell us a little bit about. You said you actually designed the whole inside of this place. Yeah, it was just a visual saying it had to be more colorful. Right. You know, about the, when you come into a restaurant, you want you want to the vibe a little bit. Right. When, you, when it's more colorful. And you can go up appetite. You know, you, you know, you, you, you want to come in, and you know, you want to want to eat, right? Because you're happy. Yeah. You see more colors, you're happy. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's popping. I gotta say, everything here it, it's looking top notch. And you know, getting a little bit of Tommy's background before we went live tonight. Uh, you, this isn't your first rodeo, the restaurant business. Uh, no, no. Tell me yeah. a little bit about what you've been through to get to this point. Well, I couldn't do a lot, you know. But <laughs> it was a lot, okay. But without the customers, you know, I wouldn't be here, okay, really. All right. Uh, I was kind of like more, more into it. It's like, it's like in the nature of it, you know. You try to do something else, but sometimes it just draws you, draws you coming back in. Right. All right. So with this restaurant, you know, I again, I'm trying to picture a little bit more accommodating and a little. More out of my league also, right. you know. When I say out of my league, I try to try to do things different. But again, right now the limited menu. When it comes to the when everything is all said and done, will be in full speed. You know, when it comes to full speed, there means there'll be a lot a lot of things different that you won't be seeing around the area, but you'll be seeing outside the area. You know, they say, hey, I had such and such at this place. Can you make it for me? Right. And I said, I'll try. It'll come close to it, but I'll try. <laughs> okay. As long as you tell me wait. We've, we've seen it before. Right. Okay. Yeah. And, and I think that's that's critical too is, is you know, what Tommy was telling me before, again, we went on tonight, um, you're really taking a lot of the feedback from the community. Yeah. And, you know, Tommy's talking about doing this as, this this is here to stay. And he wants to be such a strong part of this community here on Main Street in Mooresville that, that you're being so receptive to all these ideas that are coming in and everything else, trying to accommodate a lot of these people, you know, rolling it right up into your business. Yeah. People think that, hey, when you open a restaurant, they think that, hey, you have a signature dish. Right. But it's not. It's the customer telling you how to cook. Right. Even, though, even if you know how to cook, okay? Even yeah. though you know how to cook, everybody knows how to cook, but the customers tell you one thing, so you listen to them, so you try to accommodate them. And that's where I feel that it's more successful like that. Absolutely. You listen to your customers. Once you listen to them, you say, hey, It'll work not because you see your dish, right? Not because of the chunky fried rice and spam, yeah. you know. <laughs> it might be, but it you might know. be. It might be. Don't, okay. don't, don't sell that one short. Okay. Okay. And, and I gotta say this, and, and he's being very humble. And I, you know what I really appreciate is when we meet these new people and you hear the backstories of their business. Uh, one of the big things that, that resonates with Tommy just over and over again. Number one is just how much he cares about his customers and his food. Uh, but number two. 
is the wealth of knowledge that he's built up over the years as far as operating different restaurants and you were talking yeah. about it with your family. Uh -huh. uh, and just kind of bringing it all in as far as learning what works, what doesn't work, yeah. and trying to roll it up into one package. That's right. You know, and that's, that's, that's on point. Yeah. Hey, you're, not, you're not gonna stop me with that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're doing what we're doing well so far, I guess. But I hope everybody can tell out there this place is a blast and I can't wait to get it up up to full speed. What are you guys offering now as far as like hours go and, and offerings? Our stores right now is from uh, regular hours from eleven to nine mostly. Uh, some days we we close in the afternoon. I do I need my friend needs a little break. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Press? No, yeah, no, but that he was for football. So maybe we can talk Tommy into one more day here down here at the restaurant. Who knows? We'll, yeah. we'll try to petition that one, that okay. one later. Um, limited menu, you said right now, and I know you have some menus here. What's the easiest way? Can they find you online? Can they find you on Facebook? Yeah, they can find me on Facebook online. And even, well, Google. Right. Yeah, I can say Google. Okay. Of course. Of course. Okay. But mostly I, the, the community with their, the way they post, and I really appreciate that. You know, I have, a, I have a big following, and again, I'm very thankful for that too. That I'm very and, and, and he truly does, and I've got to say that we, when we came down here, we've been trying to set this up for maybe a week or two, I guess now, because of the outpouring of support from the community and said, "Hey, you got to go down and check out Tommy down in Eden Bowl. Just opened up. We'd love to hear more about his story. We'd love to hear about what he's got going on down there." And uh, we finally got down here. So glad we did. And I'll tell you what, this is a blast. I can't wait until you're up, just absolutely packing this place. Uh, as you can see, I mean, the decor in here, it's, it's something that's very different. I think it's something that Mooresville, you know, the Main Street area, fits in very well, but it's also very unique. So we appreciate you bringing it down to downtown Mooresville. No, thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you for coming in. Absolutely. We, we love to be here. And as we do with all our videos, we'll make sure that all the information for Eatable is posted with the video as well. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be glad to pass that on to Tommy, or we will have all this information tagged as well. Uh, please. And again, he mentioned it earlier. Let him know what you think, all right? If you love it down here, and I know you will, all right, make sure you leave him some reviews. Make sure you're on Google and you're giving him a Google review and Yelp, TripAdvisor, whatever you can hit. And absolutely, we always love to hear your feedback as well. So uh, again, Tommy, thank you so much for having us down. We do appreciate it. I'm looking forward to some spam. Okay. Uh, and we look forward to seeing everybody else down here real soon. Okay. Thank you again, Tommy. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you, brother.